Hi guys, welcome to another week of foodie gardening. It's a scorcher today. It's only half past half past eight, nine o'clock, and already the sun is really, really bright. They've actually given out rain for the rest of the week, which at this point moment I can't see it happening, but but maybe it will. I don't know. The last couple of weeks have certainly been really, really dry and I've had to do a lot of watering. Thank you for all your advice on the onions. I have started pulling these out. I'm gonna take a couple more now. Get this out. So as you can see, they are pretty small. They haven't bulbed up that much. These are ones that I put in um, before Christmas. I think it was around November time. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in those. We have had a couple already and there's not that much red onion there. You do need a good few to make a salad. Today I'm also picking artichokes. It's funny because I thought the strawberries were going to be the first thing ready on the plot but turns out they're not which is nice because last year they were so it means we are at least um, getting more than we did last year or certainly getting things earlier anyway. I've got three artichoke plants and there's a few coming on the other ones but this one definitely has got the most. There's five or six big ones here. So I'm going to chop those off now and take them up home and grill them. Okay so let's get in here and cut them off. I'm just going to cut them about an inch down from the top. Quite a nice size. Got a few ants in there, definitely need a good wash. I'm not really sure with artichokes if you're meant to leave some. Or if you just take them all. The central one. Get massive. Oh, that one was tough to cut into. Maybe I went a bit too far down. The tomatoes I put in outside are doing well. There's another couple just up at the end here. They're smaller ones, but the slugs seem to have stayed off them. And then down the back under this cage, I've put in peas. They're a little bit late going in, but hopefully they'll come up. And just over here, I've got three cucumbers out there at the moment in their protective um, little plastic bottles, but Hopefully they'll do okay outside. So they are the market more variety which have quite thick skins which I didn't like last year because I did them in the greenhouse and then I realised they were designed to go outside so that's why they're outside now. Some of these strawberries are looking like they're starting to ripen. This kind of jungly area here has got strawberries in it which is why I haven't just um, dug up all of that grass that's in there but this bit in the front here this was also all strawberries you see my shadow there hello <laughs> um, and I moved those down to the bottom of the plot. These are doing quite well there's lots of big strawberries on them so I think I'm actually going to get these netted over before they turn red and the birds have them all. That's my harvest for today guys they look pretty good I'm happy with the size on them. I'm going to take them home and boil them and then grill them and probably will eat them tonight I would think but I'm also going to put them in oil with a little bit of Italian herb and some chilli. That's a nice way of, of serving them I find. Do let me know if you'd like to see a recipe video for that because I could film while I'm making them as well. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week, bye bye. <music>